All right. Let's do this. That's what I'm hoping, equilateral. That is what I'm hoping. Assuming I can get it to work in a decent amount of time. If I can finish it tonight, the answer is probably yes. You shouldn't procrastinate on stream. Well, <laughs> subject is lighter. There's there's uh there's pros and cons. Uh, it, it's harder to get get deep focus either because you're checking chat a lot <laughs> and you're responding to chat. Is it still possible to buy? It has never been possible, Tommy. Uh, but it is something we've wanted to add for a while. It's just never quite bubbled up to the top of the priority list for long enough to actually get released. <laughs> I've done some work on it, but um, it's just not quite there yet. Hey, Daz Days. What have been the legit craziest requests you have got? Um, tournament quality of life features to Slippy. I mean, obviously... Actually, I'll do a craziest request. So, craziest request, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is the one I... Um, I tweeted about this one. The, the monkey. There was a tweet at some point where... Where is it? It's like a cult classic, maybe at this point. I don't know. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, search monkey. Yeah, add a monkey, like a little dancing monkey, whenever you win, and the monkey can maybe wave when you lose, or it can do a cool flip whenever you take a stock. I don't know. I think that would be cool. This, this is up there. This is definitely one of my favorite requests. Um, dear, um, I don't know what you have in mind for tournament quality of life features. Uh, I'm sure you have some ideas when you ask that question, being a TO, but um, I mean, obviously, we want to try to support tournaments. It's just, it's always a prioritization thing, right? It's like, what what's more important? I think right now, highest priority is definitely ranked as soon as we release 2.3.0 and we can finally go, like, full in on ranked. So I doubt it would be higher priority than ranked, uh, but I'm sure at some point, you know, like, obviously, supporting the tournament scene is really important. That's the reason why we did Spectator, or at least broadcasting before ranked, right? Because... We want to make sure that people can still run tournaments. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know if monkeys ever going in. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, you know, it's a good suggestion though. Keep keep them coming. Make it so people can't make usernames with slurs in them. That is surprisingly difficult. It is surprisingly difficult to catch everything. Obviously, we could do some of the basic ones. We looked at some tools that could do that, like that were like built-in filters. It's actually amazing how hard it is to find like an NPM package that's just like a slur filter. <laughs> Like, it's so ridiculous. Like, you would think that would be really easy to find. You can find anything on NPM, and we couldn't... There's, like, nothing good last I checked. But, I mean, we we do, though, we do get reports of people that, you know, put slurs in their names and stuff, and we... Uh, 
Sometimes the it depends how bad it is, but sometimes we'll just change their name and then write them down. It's basically like a warning, and if they keep doing it, we'll ban them. Or if it's really bad, we'll just ban them immediately. Uh, yeah, we'll probably do some kind of anti-stalling measures in ranked. And yes, it is kind of... It's... it's This is answering... Uh, Man, what is it? <laughs> we'll just say we'll just say uh plan plan dingo. Uh but um it's a bit stressful for sure. I mean it always feels like there's a big weight on my shoulders and people you know, people always go in and talk about it like it's it's just tough. There it's 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 a lot of pressure. Makes me feel bad if I'm like not working on it, even though I need to work on other stuff. But it's fine. I, I I'm 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 able to stay rel re relatively calm regardless. But it, I mean, it's obviously not like I'm not gonna say it's. I'm like, oh, it doesn't affect me at all. Yes, I'm doing this full time. Something we can help crowdsource. I'm not sure what you were referring to there. Hey, BMAT Life. Profanity's NPM package. I'm I'm not sure. I. The thing is, like, I don't even know if profanity is what we want. We want specifically f like hate speech or hate language, and slurs, more so than profanities. Like, I don't know if we need to ban shit or. Crap, or whatever. All right. Anyway, let's uh l let me talk through what I'm planning on doing right now. I'll show the state of the feature real quick. Um. So. Okay, so if I go in here, uh, this is a breakpoint. I'm just gonna remove the breakpoint. Okay, so it comes up with my last suggestion, and then I can like scroll through, right, and see the previous codes I've entered. Um, and then if I hit Z, it accepts that code, and then I can confirm it immediately. Um, and then you know, if I go back and. Yeah, and then if I like hit N, it auto filters to the ones that start with N, and I can scroll through those, right? Um, so what I'm looking to fix right now is, um, so if I do this, if I do a code with, I think, I, I think it's specifically with this amount of letters. So I think this is what, seven, seven characters. Like if I remove it and I hit confirm, it will actually confirm with the suggested value, uh, which is kind of a minor bug, but it's still a bug and I should fix it. So like if I hit confirm now, you'll see it's looking for dope 462, uh, whereas it should have been looking for dope 46. Um, so yeah, so I need to fix that. That is what I'm gonna do. You don't need to cancel the suggestion. You just enter something else. Like, right. The suggestion is just, like, you just hit Z to hit it, to apply it. B just, what B does is it just it erases, right? I'm hitting B now. No, the slight bug is a different thing. I think if I do this, though, I think this will work. Yeah, so that's dope four. So it's only specifically with that amount of characters. I know why it's happening. I just need to fix it. 
Are there codes in that format with only four letters and two numbers? Uh, there are. Well, kind of. <laughs> Mike, I mean, my main code, obviously this is my test account, but my main code is... Um, oops. Is this. And it'll become more common once there's paid codes too. Something I'm curious about is if I enter this now. Okay, cool. So it does change the order up. That's awesome. Okay, so let's do it. So there's two there's two on handler injections, like on success injections. It's these two, on confirm button A press and on confirm button handler. And the reason there's two is kind of annoying because to confirm, I think you can either hit, uh, I think you can just hit, I think you can hit start or A. Like I can hit start or I can hit A and both of them confirm and because of assembly and all sorts of things, that's two different handlers, so we need two different injections. Will paid codes allow for codes without the number? No. But you could have like a number zero, like for example, Leffen and Zane have and stuff. What programming language is used? There's multiple. Um, right now, it's going to be mostly assembly and C++, but we do we use other languages too. Yeah, I gave Mango that code because I said I would give a custom code to whoever won SCL. Yeah, he'll be back. <laughs> he'll be back. All right, so the problem is the way this is written. So I think uh, where Honey Badger modified this code and I don't really like the way it was changed. Um, I mean, I could keep it this way. It's just, does it matter? Does it matter? Let's see. Creator of Super Smash Bros. Melee. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. Check if max names, check if name already in use. Where does this branch to? This branch is all the way to here. What does this do? Right, okay, so after a right name to mem. And then this branch is to the end, I think. So what about the other one? It's really bizarre that the assembly ended up like this, actually. I feel like they must have copy pasted some code instead of calling a function or something.
<laughs> so tough. Are you done streaming? I saw you were streaming before. Yeah, I love me some assembly. All right, so I was looking, where was I? I looked at, which one did I look at? Oh, fuck. Okay, let's just see. So this one goes from here. I guess that's the one I was looking at. All the way to here. So this calls 224. Gotta remember 224. So from here to here. Yeah, this also calls 224. I guess like, and then it exits, right? Yeah. So I could just, I could just keep it this way. I guess it's more, slightly more code efficient. Um, why? It doesn't need to be a branch L though. And why does it matter what button was pressed? I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. It's gonna load it. Yeah, it loads this, but first anyway. Yeah, we'll ju we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna say this. We'll get rid of this. All right, and I'll write a comment that says the a slash start confirm handlers are identical. This just branches the logic for the a handler to the logic for the start handler to avoid code duplication. All right. Yeah, comments. Aspiring programmers write comments. Comments are great. Because when you look at code two years later, you're not like, why the hell did I do this? No East Coast matches. Is that Melee Online the Discord? I see. Okay, so this t sends me here, which is good. I guess this is absurd. I I don't need this. Why why would this be here? It doesn't make any sense. This is, that's just absurd. That doesn't need to be there. CC80. And then I don't think this needs to be here either. There you go. I'm gonna please stream something else. You know, I was surprised yesterday because, like, <laughs> I was just programming <laughs> and people were in here. And then I was like, you know, I think I might play some games. Who to, Do you guys want me to play games or do you, do you want me to keep programming? And, like, everyone in the chat said programming. And I was like, you guys are crazy. Why are you, why are you watching me write lines of code? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's great yesterday I tried to make it a little fun actually it was really cool I would like 
I mean, that's partially why I set it up at the start, right? I was like, okay, this is what I'm trying to do. And then I would write a bunch of code, right? And then I would go like, okay, it's time to test. <laughs> and, I, and I put up predictions to see if people thought it would work or it wouldn't. That was a great time. What's up, Sika? <laughs> and Shava. All right. So we're we're working on direct code history and autocomplete, and there's a bug I'm currently trying to fix right now. The bug specifically is if I have a suggestion and I clear one letter. So right now I'm trying to enter dope number four six, right? And I hit confirm. It enters dope number four six two, so it still uses the suggestion. It adds that last character, which it shouldn't be doing. Um, so I'm working on fixing that bug right now. Is Dolphin supposed to say exclusive full screen enabled when launching an ISO in full screen? I have no idea. I remember taking assembly at McGill. I mean, I probably took the same class, ECSC 324. I feel like that, that rings a bell. That class was okay. I don't think I learned, ver like, I, I learned the general assembly concepts, which sort of came in handy, but eh, I kind of had to re like really learn the nitty gritty myself anyway. I think we did MIPS back then. Sicko, did you take that course? Are they still teaching MIPS, or are they doing something else? They're doing MIPS? Terrible. Terrible. That's clearly just the professor is not wanting to redo their curriculums. Like... Why? <laughs> do something more useful. <laughs> something people still use. I guess it doesn't matter that much at the end of the day, but... It's just weird. Like, do ARM. ARM assembly or something. <laughs> Seems like that would be more, much more useful. Probably not PowerPC. <laughs> I think PowerPC is probably a bit dated too, but ARM is fine. All right. Anyway, let's do this. So I think I don't need to, to get the cursor and that's part of the reason why this bug is happening. Instead, I'm just, I'm just gonna do a backup and restore. It's just gonna be easier. I don't have to worry about uh, I guess this is restore. We're never exiting, right? Yeah, I don't think we're ever exiting, so that's fine. Okay, and we'll do... I need to get the ACB address. So we'll make that register 31. And then we will copy that from another handler I'm gonna need this as well
Okay, so we have the... I think this will fetch the ADC. So reg... Or ACB. So ACB... ACB is the autocomplete buffer. That's where I store data that matters for the autocomplete logic. And then... Yeah, this is actually exactly what I want. I want to get how many committed committed characters we have. And... Um, if that is equal to, actually, if it's greater than or equal to 8, we can um, skip clear suggestion. Oh, uh, sorry, I did this wrong. This is the compare with immediate. This is a branch greater than or equal. There we go. When I say those names, by the way, that's what these mean, these stand for. So this is B for branch, greater than or equal. And then this is compare with immediate. You're welcome, DMT. Okay, so now we're gonna Put this here, and in here, there might be a suggestion active. Clear out the letter at the current length index to clear suggestion. Okay, I think I can do like, um, yeah, so what does this do? R30 plus R3. So R3 is the index, R30 is probably the start index of the text. So our, th yeah, so I can probably do mol i, this is mul multiply immediate uh, into r4, multiply r3 times three. And then I can do, yeah, load immediate r5 zero and yeah, that should work. R5, R30, R4. Seems correct to me, I think. What's up, Casper? And Corinne? Why is Fizzy my tag? Um, it's actually somehow, I, I ended up deriving it from the word fission. It has nothing to do with like bubbles and stuff. I think I started using that name in Counter-Strike a long time ago. Originally it was like something, like fission something, and then I just shortened it to fizzy. No, it doesn't have anything to do with, with carbonated beverages. Yeah, like nuclear fission. No, I I I played 1.6 a long time ago. So when I first came up with that name, that was when I played 1.6. I haven't played Go in a long time. My best rank in Go, I think, was um, double AK. I don't I don't know, remember the name for it. Double gold AK or whatever. Um. I've played a bit of Valorant. I play more Valorant recently, though I, I don't play a lot of Valorant, but when I do play a shooter like that, I play Valorant these days. Oh, 
Okay, so I think this will work, maybe. So I can get rid of this. I don't think, do I still need this tag? Nope, it's unused. Success sound, yep, sounds good. Callback, yep. Restore and run branch. I think we're good. I think we're good. Maybe. What's the meaning of the 36? Thanks for the prime kills, Master. Um, the 36... The 36 is just... Um, I played travel soccer when I was a kid, and I think at first I was number 3, and then on my other team I was number 6. And then after that, I was 36. It's funny, my brother's tag is Flaff, and he uses the name Flaff20 for like the same reason. You're very welcome, Killsmaster. What do you guys think? You guys think this is going to work if I test it? We don't need this. I know we don't need that. Never works on the first try. I don't know. I don't know. Sounds like you're a doubter. All right, predictions up. Predictions up. like doing some double checking I think I think we're ready all right so we're gonna build the code set uh Daget, I I do not recommend learning assembly <laughs> for the most part <laughs> yeah assembly is like the most low-level language I kind of explained it yesterday but like these individual instructions can each be converted to 32 bits directly. So like 32 zeros and ones. And they are exactly what the CPU reads to run code. So it's it's like, it's basically machine code. <laughs> Assembly is the melee of programming languages. I don't know about that. <laughs> If I had an option to not use assembly, I would. Whereas uh, melee, melee is melee is the goat. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's um copy that over. So this is this is the new code. We built it. Let's build it again, just to be sure, just to be safe don't actually have to do that. I just don't always remember whether I built something or not. All right, so now we copy the codes over. So it should be using the new code set. I believe the prediction's closed, so we're good. Here we go. Well, I mean, what are the odds? I, I'm not I'm not gonna fault anyone trying to play the odds. Yeah, the odds are good for won't work, so. All right. So if I hit B and I hit confirm, is it going to say dope 46 in the bottom right or dope 462? 46 means it worked. Oh, the doubters. It's rough for the doubters. That's rough for the doubters. Though I did want to check one more thing. What if I do this? Does that say DOP? Because it's possible it won't. It does say DOP. All right, sweet. Looks like it works. 
Rip doubters. You just gotta believe. Why do I multiply the length of the text by three? <laughs> the reason is um, each character store like in the memory that it's stored in um, on the name tag. It's two bytes per character because it's shift gis shift jis. I don't know if people pronounce it shift gis or not, but shift jis, which is a type of encoding, so it's two bytes per character. And after each two bytes is a null terminator, so it's two bytes and a null terminator. So I have to multiply the actual number of characters times three to get to the right byte. Yeah, each character is an individual string, which is kind of weird. It's also why the, um, it's kind of amusing because I think that's kind of how the old eight character code would work. If you look at like Dan Salvato's character code, right? We made it better in this, in that like each each individual character, like the cursor, right? can you see my mouse? Yeah, you can see my mouse. This cursor is always underneath the character, right? And there's actually eight slots. Whereas if you look at the old eight character name entry code, you'll see that there's like two characters really close to each other and the cursor doesn't move until you've entered two. And it fits, it fits two characters into a single string into one text box. That, maybe that would have been too, that might've been too much, but yeah, go look at the old uh, eight player. Maybe, maybe in 20 XX you can see it or something. Let's see if I, actually, I'll, I'll see if I can bring it up real quick. Let's, let's try, let's try loading 20XX. It might be in here. Oh, right. Um, Lemon Lust, I haven't, no, I haven't really heard from Dan. But I'm sure Dan is super busy with other stuff. I think it's fine. I, we've already got plenty of people helping. God damn it. Which code... I guess I gotta turn off UCF. Okay, that worked. All right, so if I go to name entry, right, you'll see there's an A here. And now look what happens when I do another A. It kind of goes like awkwardly right next to the previous A because it's rendering two characters, two characters in a, as one string inside sort of the string that's supposed to be one character. And then BB, and you can see the cursor doesn't move until you've entered two. So yeah. They did that because they, they just wanted to do a simpler code and Slippy, we, we went a little, a little harder, so we actually made it so the cursor moves. The positions of the characters are different. Like we gave it more, more left and right space. Like if you had no, if I don't know if you noticed, but like the characters started like over here on the uh, 20xx version. All right, let's see what the next next task is. These are my notes for the remaining tasks. So, uh, we did... Uh, maybe I'll do this next. I guess I, di I didn't even have that one in here, the task. I was going to remove it, but. Yeah, it doesn't check a database or anything. It's just what you've entered in the past. I think I'll do this one. 
Um, I should I should actually add another one. Ensure that entering name tags still works because it won't. Yeah. Oops. Can I just remove the random button? I mean, probably, but... I feel like the random button can still be useful for lobby codes, for doubles. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's handle the erase button. Because I think right now, if I, if I do this and I go to erase, instead of pressing B, you see how my suggestion doesn't come back and it all it does is delete stuff? In fact, things are just completely broken right now because because I did that. See, when I press B, the cursor went all the way to the right. So yeah, the the erase button is just breaking everything right now. So let's fix it. The erase button should be handled probably the same as B. Now this one is going to be a bit harder in that I'm going to have to actually dig in and figure out where where in the logic this erase is actually handled. So that might be difficult. One way, one way that I do this because it's not a super huge function is let's break into the function. All right, so this is the name entry think function. And now something I'll do is I'll put a breakpoint everywhere where it calls SFX menu common sound. And that's because it'll break into the code like every time a sound gets played. Now, if I was good, I would know which index is the sound I'm looking for because that's a back sound, right? Actually, I can probably find out. Um, Let's check on B press. So this is the B handler. And I think this would be the sound it plays. So let's test that theory. Did I, let me just clear this and then put a breakpoint here. So if I hit B, okay, no, that's not the right one. Damn it. Mm. What am I replacing here? Skip the rest of the original handler. Right. So maybe it's before. Maybe it's here. Yeah, okay, so that's the one. This isn't, it's funny because I, I guess this is an IDE, but not really, this is just Dolphin. This is like built-in Dolphin development tools. This is Melee code. And so like, it's also compiled Melee code, right? Which is all we have access to, which is just blocks and blocks of assembly. And the community are the ones that came up, like mapped out all these functions. Like we're the ones that called it name entry think. Before that, like we have no idea what this function would have been. So BMAT life, it's not a it's not too big of a deal because it always sorts things by recency. So like as soon as you enter like as soon as you fix your typo and enter the right code, that'll be the prioritized suggestion anyway. And yeah, I know nobody uses the erase button, but it's actually easier to fix this than it is to remove the erase button. Removing the erase button would actually be very hard.
Yeah, I mean, I could make it do nothing. Obviously, making it do nothing is also easy, but it's not that much harder. It's not that much easier if it's easier at all than just making it do what the B button does. So that's what we're going with. Okay, so anyway, so this calls SFX menu common sound with an arg of zero. So passing an arg of zero to this function plays that sort of like back sound that you hear when you press B. So what I gotta find is I gotta look through this function and find another instance of this with li r30 beforehand. So let's find it. So this one is, is, is what we're looking for, but it's a one, so we don't want that one. We don't want this one. We don't want this one. Also, I decided to go up, which might have pro which might prove to be a mistake. This is we don't want this one. We don't want this one. Did I? Crap! Where did I go? I think I lost my spot. Okay. Common sound, common sound. See, all of these are error sounds and success sounds. I think one is success, three is error. So it's not the sound we're looking for. Here, this this one is the sound we're looking for. But I think this might be a different one. But we'll breakpoint it anyway. This one's also the right sound. I should just start at the top of this function. That would have been that would have been a smarty smarty pants thing to do. Cause now I have to go back to where I was and scroll down from there. Okay. So I think I was in the B handler though, so let's just let's go back to there. Oh no, that's not what I want. That is not what I want. I want this. Okay. So, oh, I, I guess there is, there is not, we were basically at the end of the function anyway. Okay, so I think we got them all. So one of those should be the erase button. It's not this one, this is the B press handler, so. Let's do F and then hit erase. Okay, here it is. So we'll just copy that address. Um, Okay, so what I want to compare this to is the B press handler. Where do we inject? I need I want to compare the code of these two handlers just to see if how similar they look. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot. That's the B press handler. And now we'll go back to the, this one, which is the erase press handler. And they're a bit different, it looks like. It's very odd. I don't really see why they're different. They're similar. You have the, the extend sign byte. This is being loaded into the same thing. Also, although in one case it's being loaded into R3. You know, I've decided I don't think I care. And I am just going to put 
an injection here that branches to the start of the B press handler. And we'll see if that just works. So we'll call we'll call it that. And we'll do Oh, wait, there is a difference. Shit. There is a difference. I just remembered. The difference is that... So, so look at this. So, if I... If I hit erase now, right? And I hit erase again. I just get an error sound. Right? But... If I have stuff in here and I hit B... And I hit B again. Oh, geez. That's a bug. Uh, how did I do that? Well, um, we'll handle that later. What did I do? Try entering two characters. So that, <laughs> if that bug slips through, that means that if somebody did that, Dolphin would just crash with no error message. It would just shut down instantly. So that's cool. <laughs> Alright, I need to use the restroom. And also, I need to take off this hoodie because it's really hot. So I'll be right back.
<laughs> hey Aura. Alright. I'm back and let's see, can we even reproduce that bug? Let's see if we can reproduce it. So I did I went in here and I like did this and then I did this. Alright, we can reproduce it. Great. Oh, I guess I don't have an uptime command. I've been alive for 57 minutes. Are you working in a ranking matchup? Mm, I'm not sure what you're asking. I actually have never gotten the FFZ uh, FFZ extension myself. I should probably do that. Maybe at some point. Alright. So, clearly this doesn't work. But, that's a bug we can handle later. Thank you, Gunner. Though I, I think I think people give me a fair amount of credit already, and I appreciate it for sure. All right. This is not the bug we're looking for, though. The bug we're looking for, um, is there or. We're trying to fix the erase button. I guess it's not really a bug. Well, it's kind of a bug. So now the question is, I need to figure out where the logic happens. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that intense juice. Awesome. Um, I can't. The thing is, I can't stream all of rank development because, like, if I'm doing back end stuff that I don't necessarily want people to see, like, for example, how the the rating system changes and everything like that, then I can't stream that. Uh, but I'll try to stream some of the work that I do, um, for other parts of it. I did not work at Google, no. I worked at Smash GG. Okay, so... Let's just pause and look at... So I'm, I'm assuming this is where the handler starts. Let's just double check that. Actually, I think I know why the B press crashes now that I think about it. Probably. Yeah, I don't want people to find ways to game the system and it's kind of like, for example, we'll probably have some like cheating detection stuff and like so on, and that stuff can't really be public, otherwise people can figure out how to circumvent it and so on. Yeah, my version has a Teams button, but so does the the current beta build in Patreon, so... If you subscribe to the Patreon, you can access the beta build, which works... You can actually just use it, because it works in Unrank too, with people that don't have it. Um, and it also has teams. Not really, Lemon Lust. Not really. How would we do that in Dolphin? 
how do we prevent somebody from using a custom build that just bypasses all that stuff, right? And if we forced you to maybe install another software, which would be hard to force anyway, we'd basically just be running malware on your system to try to p keep people from cheating. Uh, so it's like, <laughs> you can't really do it that way. Vanguard is like an incredible... I mean, Vanguard basically is malware, first of all, and it's incredibly complicated and uh, invasive software to try to prevent cheating. And I mean, to be fair, it does work. It Because you can tell, I mean, Valorant has way less cheaters than Counter-Strike, so I think it's really... It's probably a net positive, but it's still kind of awkward <laughs> to have something like that on your system. And... Building something like that is a lot of work and it's risky. And like, there is no chance in hell we have the like manpower to do that. Plus, since a lot of Slippy is just open source and everything in Dolphin is open source, like, we can't even, in, we can't even force people to do it because you could just run a custom Dolphin and bypass it. So it's like, it it just wouldn't work for Slippy. It's not possible to make that work. What was the first game I ever played? The first game I ever played was Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. The first online game I ever played was Well of Souls. Yeah, cheating in Melee is hard to begin with because a lot of the sort of normal cheats that you'd use are just going to cause desyncs. Like if you were to do cheats the way other games do do cheats, you would just desync with your opponent. So it's kind of pointless. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's harder to cheat. It's kind of like it's a little bit similar to how cheating in Rocket League is hard. Although it's a little bit different. Cheating in Rocket League is really hard because like the physics are insane. So it's like bots aren't even good. Yeah, macros are probably the big one, Shuckler. I also don't want to talk about like all the possible cheating options I've thought of because like I don't want to give people any ideas. Um, but of course, I've put some thought into it. I don't think pre cheating is very revel prevalent in Melee at all, because it's hard. It's hard to cheat. So it's not a major concern, but it's certainly like, I mean, at some point we'll have to probably deal with it. Oh yeah, I was just going to... Go in here, do this, and then go over here. Okay, that's what I thought. So that's the start of the handler. Okay, let's get this start of the B press handler. I believe the start of the B press handler is all the way up here. wrong actually maybe that was wrong
Ludwig's gonna DM me? Alright. Where is he gonna DM me? Twitter? Well, I hope he goes with Discord if he does, because that's the easiest to see. Okay, he DM me on Twitter. Hello, I would like to report a cheater. The tag is sue you. <laughs> Let's see. I asked him if there's a clip or something. It's it's funny because like if this is real, if this is true that like Ludwig ran into a cheater, it's like hilarious because we were literally just talking about cheaters. Also, hello to the Lud Buds. Does anyone have a clip? Oh, I want to see it. Cheating Peach on that play. She can't be this bad losing to my fox because my fox, mind you, is terrible. Not even losing, excuse me, but losing stocks. And then power shielding frame one every time. There's no universe. <laughs> this this Peach is terrible. This, oh, that didn't no, work. No, she's she's cheating. I no, I'm I'm I, unironic, unironically, this is a cheater. This is unironically a cheater. Look. I don't know your argument there, Lud's uh it's a struggling. There's there it no is. universe where she just did a jash attack and then first frame shielded that. There's no fucking universe. Dude, this This play is like a bot. This, this looks like a bot. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a human a down throw? This like, doesn't seriously? To me you this doesn't necessarily look like push? there's any human interaction here. It might just completely be a bot there's no universe there's literally no universe where you are first and obviously bots are not shielding, as good shielding, as humans lasers which is such a tight reaction and then incapable of pressing R at the right time that's why she's so fearless when I run in is because she's gonna power shield and then just fucking down smash out of the power shield that's why they're, that's why she's just standing there. <laughs> this is so she bizarre. Knows this, she'll just power shield it and then she can down smash out of the power shield. Look, are you seeing this? Are you seeing and you're gonna tell me she's not fucking cheating? That's why she can do that. I am I'm, I'm of course I'm fucking right. There's no uh, That's not a bot, it's not a bot. She can do that <laughs> yeah. drill wave shine I did earlier. If she wasn't cheating, anyone is who's good enough just snaps the ledge there. I should never. This doesn't look like an AI bot, good. honestly. Well, I mean, it could be, but. I can't. I can't do attacks. I can do grabs. And she doesn't know. Look at the SDI. <laughs> As Peach, you can <laughs> nair out of any up throw. There should be no up throw up air. It's not this is definitely attack. weird. Thanks for the sub. BBF and stuffs. I don't know if I missed any. I found a fucking cheater. Oh, it looks like I didn't. Yeah, this is really interesting. I'm gonna send this. I'm gonna send this to Alt F4. Um, and I mean, maybe we'll ban this person. But it's funny because this would be the first instance of us banning a bot 
if it's a bot. Is Ludwig still playing against it? Or them? No. Fizzy's thought process is that it might have been a bot. Which could make sense. It could be because there's a lot of bots, but it didn't feel like a bot. Huh. I guess it could have been a bot. Yeah, like one of those 20XX bots. But why would they have left? Well, that was that was fun. <laughs> it dipped weirdly, like as soon as I called them out, and it wasn't like immediate. It's not like the game three ended and they're like leave. It was like game three ended and they took like thirty seconds and then left. Yeah, I think it was Sly. Yeah, so another possibility yeah, is it was a keyboard, but it's still weird because like the it was doing like float cancel power shield. Weirdness, a like it was like power shielding into floats. But also, you can SDI a lot harder on keyboard as Either well. Way, so yeah, it was very, it's very bizarre. It was very bizarre for sure. Don't think I what is going on here in Ludstream? Is this looks like it's part of the, <laughs> it's part of the timer, but it's just like here. That's pretty funny. All right. Anyway. Power shield. There's no way that's a human. He's had the conversation uh, that this was a human player who was just playing and just had a really good, <laughs> like, nice fucking classy, speedy power shield. There's no universe. <laughs> I think non-players of video games, or Melee specifically, like to imagine that, like, maybe, yeah, like, if I played the game, I'd fucking... I'd collect my, collect my gold have. wigs. But it's just, it's just not how it'd be. Alright. New opponent. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to coding. I'll definitely look more into that later. That was super interesting. And I'll decide whether to ban that person. Uh, yeah, we do get... We do get a lot of info in the replays. So if Lud sent us one of the replays, we could definitely look into it. Um, I told Ludwig to save the replays if he can, but we'll see if he does that. Do you have an FAQ document for people? I'm not sure what kind of FAQ you're wondering about, but uh, do you have... At dealing with peaches. So we have, like, uh, some... I think we have some s answers on uh, slippy.gg for some questions, maybe on the about page or something? Um... And we have some stuff in our GitHubs too. Like we have a wiki. If you go to GitHub, 
slash project slippy. Slippy wiki has a bunch of stuff in here for certain things, but this is more targeted at developers. Um, but there's some answers in here for some questions. All right, let's watch this clip. People are saying the clip's insane, so let's let's check it out. Bad at dealing with Peach's fucking moves. <laughs> Do you see this? S That's crazy. See, I yeah, that makes sense. That's why I missed the fucking falling up earlier. It's not SDIing. I keep saying it because I'm I'm still on like guessing that it's a bot, but like. Dude, this is all coming together. Bad at dealing with Peach's fucking moves. Why does this have a thing at the end? It doesn't normally have this. We don't have uh anything for like the roadmap we don't do any etas really because we just don't know when stuff is gonna finish but yeah it's really bizarre that like the sdis were happening on up throw up air but not ha or like after up throw but not happening during shine like i feel like if you were making a bot that was this blatant in certain situations maybe you would just make it SDI everything like crazy? I don't know. So, <laughs> I mean, it could be someone playing on a keyboard or something, or like have some really weird way of playing, but it's just very strange. It's just funny though, because they're still terrible. Like if it is a human trying to cheat, like that's the good thing about melee is like cheating only gets you so far. Cheating only gets you so far. If you aren't good at the game, you're just gonna lose. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this is interesting. Because this hits every single... So it's got to be here, right? This has to be the B-Press Handler. Yeah. So that's the B-Press Handler. Alright, we're, we're switching gears. We're done with the cheating thing. We're, we're going back to writing code. We will, I will, we will analyze the, the cheater more in the future. Okay, let's see what happens. So, it plays the sound first. <laughs> He's the 18th greatest Super Monkey Ball player of all time. Yeah, I, <laughs> I do still have the 18th placed record. 18th place on uh, expert mode in Super Monkey Ball 2. 
That was from a run done seven years ago. I'm not trying to fix the crash right now, I think. Um, the the B press crash. I'm, I'm still working on the erase button. We got a little bit sidetracked, but that's okay. Sidetracks are fun. Okay, so what I'm curious about is which branch we end up taking. R29. What's R29 is zero. Okay, so it runs our logic. All right, fine. We'll fix the crash. We'll fix the crash. I think I, because I'm I'm there anyway, and I think I know how to fix it. Maybe. So I think what happens is we subtract one from the committed character count here, and it becomes negative, and then we call fetch suggestion, which we don't want to do. So what we want to do instead is, I guess, where do we want to compare? We could just do a compare here. We could just do compare with immediate R5, uh, zero. And then it will say if it's less than zero, let's just, all right, fine. We'll do, we'll do it here instead. If it's less than or if it's less than or equal to zero, we exit. Put exit here. A main falcon. Oh, what's up, honey badger? Welcome. You're here for the the finishing of this feature, hopefully. Where Honey Badger is the one that uh, that started this feature, by the way, to the chat. So we are finishing his work. In fact, let's see. Well, yeah, here we go. We got a commit message from him right here. This is a line he wrote. All right. So now what we want to do is test this, right? Because I think I fixed it. So it, I think it checks to see if the committed character count is zero before trying to fetch another suggestion after the last B press. And in that case, we just exit, which I think will prevent the crash. And I think it'll just exit. So let's just try that. Um. Oh, we got a raid from Apology Man. Thank you. What's up?
please had roll back in TVFC. <laughs> Uh, that, would, that would be pretty rough, I think. Do you play melee apology, man? Oh, thanks for the sub, Matt. You do, nice. Who do you play? I think I heard that actually before. I think I might have heard it. I don't remember where. Nice, nice. That's sick. All right, let's try to build this again. But yeah, I mean, adding rollback, it was it was a slog for melee already, and <laughs> doing it for another game is not something I am uh, keen on doing. Also, I don't even know if it would be possible in DBFZ. Obviously, with melee, we have some, we have like dolphin and stuff, uh, which helps a lot. How did I learn to code to the point where you were able to take on something like rollback? Perseverance. It's always perseverance. I mean, frankly, it, you know, I. I <laughs> I studied computer engineering. I worked a few jobs where I wrote software. Um, but most of it is just like, I mean, you start working on something smaller, right? Like the first version of Slippy was just a hard, it, I don't want to say just, cause it was actually pretty insane as well. But like the first version of Slippy was a hardware device that you plugged into slot B of like a GameCube or a Wii, right? And then it would, we still modded the game, but the mod was just to like push data out and it would just calculate stats. So that was kind of the first thing. And it was kind of sort of stepping stones getting to rollback. Like first, before rollback, we did replays, right? And then with then we also did mirroring from console and like we got rid of a lot of desyncs and sort of everything layered on top of one another. It, it, Replays actually are sort of like a big step towards rollback because even before that we weren't really sure if melee was fully deterministic. But in doing all that stuff, I learned a lot of stuff that made me think that doing rollback might be possible. Rollback in melee. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I obviously seeing rollback in games would be great. Seeing it in more games. I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that with the Guilty Gear release and everything, and like the community praise and so on, that even Japanese devs stop releasing games that don't have good rollback. I'm hoping it just becomes the norm. If anything, that you know, the pandemic was a certainly a big, uh, big push. For making online better. It's insane that it's not already. It's completely insane. It's so ridiculous. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's just like very clearly the right thing to do so many years ago. <laughs> what was I doing? I got I got I got sidetracked a little bit. Um I think I think I was gonna see if I fixed the bug. Let's do a prediction. The bug was when I entered name entry and I entered some letters and then I hit B a couple times to exit out of name entry. Uh, dolphin would crash. So, do you guys think I fixed that? Let's, um, let's put up the prediction here. We're gonna test it out. Did I fix it? Start prediction. Here we go. One minute. One minute. Place your bets.
the sweet useless points, yeah. <laughs> you just you just know that if you have a lot of numbers, you're just a baller. That's 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 really what you get out of it. You just know you're more right than the other people in the chat. Oh, we got some doubters. How's it looking? Oh, we got we got a lot of believers. People putting a lot of money down on believe. All right. All right, let's find out. All right, so the repro was A A B B B. Um, what do I do now? <laughs> so <laughs> it doesn't crash, but it it doesn't work either. Do I do I do I nullify the poll? I did ask if it would have fixed the crash though. <laughs> I fixed I fixed it, but I introduced a new bug, or there was another bug hidden behind the crash. This is not fixed. <laughs> All right, I think I gotta cancel this one. I think I can't. I can't. This one's too iffy. It is certainly not fixed. I would say. How's the dolphin side of the feature looking? I rewrote the main EXI handler to take in some args and do much more stuff. I haven't touched um, the direct code class very much. The only thing I did was I added a length function, I think. There's certainly some weirdness. Like, I don't... I don't... I'm not a huge fan of like returning a one when a when a code isn't found, and also I think this ternary isn't really necessary. I think the only time it would get hit is if index is negative, which would be weird. Like if it's negative, it would return empty, which I don't I don't I don't think we we have handlers for that. So I'm not I'm not really sure why this is here either. But I don't know. I mean I haven't had to touch it much, so that's good. Um, so I can't can't. Can't complain too much. All right, delete and return points. You got you guys got your points back. Sorry, sorry chat. Sorry chat. It was just it was just wasn't a clear it wasn't clear enough. If I had asked will I prevent the crash, that would have been clear enough. But I asked if, if I fixed it and I I I don't know if I fixed it. I partially fixed it. <laughs> yeah. Too much scamming going on in this channel. All right. Um, I mean, I, I assume I, I kind of know why. I think what I have to do is... Yeah, you guys can call me Scam36. I'll, I'll take it. I'm okay with that. Yeah, if you want to build all the latest stuff, everything's on GitHub for sure. The only stuff that's not on GitHub is like the server side stuff. Like the website and the back end services and everything. Like matchmaking. Okay, so this goes to continue B handler. 
and let's take a look at this function. You're welcome, Citrus Abdi. I I did I didn't stream for a while. It's hard to find a time for me to stream. Recently, I've been able to stream, but only really late at night. The matchmaking code is not public. Um, I've been able to stream late at night recently, uh, and it's been it's been fun. What's up, Rapido? Yeah, we're looking at assembly for sure. Um, my daily routine? I don't know, I get up, do some slippy work. Eventually my friends are like, you wanna play games? And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll play some games. Then, Recently, later, I've been like, all right, I'm going to start streaming. Maybe at some point I make some food. I don't know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say I'm a very schedule. Uh, I'm a person to adhe that adheres to schedules very much. I kind of just wing everything. There is no Teams MM right now. Teams is just, it's like direct. It's like director for teams, you just have to get four people together. Maybe teams MM eventually, but certainly not before ranked. Alright, we're going to try the poll again. We're going to try the poll again. We know, this time we know that it won't crash. Unless I added a new crash. So, a crash would be considered failure. But now, we got to know whether, if I press B again. If I press B for the last B, will it take me back to the character select screen? That is, that is what we call fixed now. Alright, we're redoing this. No scams this time, hopefully. <laughs> Did I fix it? Does it go back to the character select screen? Yeah. If it doesn't go back to the character select screen, that's considered a failure. We got believers. Any doubters? Any doubters playing the odds? Let's see. Got a few. Got a few doubters playing the odds. I respect it. <laughs> All right. Here we go.
Uf. <laughs> it's 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 not clear again. It's not clear again because it's supposed to go back on this press. Not this one. <laughs> but we, we, we did go back to the CSS. Oh no. It's a disaster. The the success metric was making it back. I didn't say which B press would make it back. But is it fixed? Is it fixed? <laughs> Cause, cause I don't think it's fixed. Oof, oof, brutal. I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this one. I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this one. <laughs> we did go back. We did go back to the CSS, it's true. Yeah, my goodwill is in shambles. Too many scams. Scamming people out of channel points. It's, it's a rough life out here. Oof, what do I do? I did say if we got back to the CSS. I did not specify which B press. I feel like I feel I got. Can I scam the chat again? Can I scam the chat twice? All right, we will say I was tr I tried to be very clear about my conditions. I asked whether we were going back to the CSS. We'll say that was success. So I guess I guess we'll say I fixed it. I'm sorry doubters. Now, now I think, I think, Dakota is neither wrist nor <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Violotic. All right, now I got to figure out why it's not happening on the right B press, though. <laughs> no, I think this shouldn't be too hard. I just need to figure out what's going on with the logic. So let's see. Let's go to the injection. Go. To, we'll go to our injection logic. Go into it. This is the branch that's checked. So B press, so at first uh, load byte zero, so yeah, so two. I'm just gonna double check to make sure this goes. Yeah, so this gets a suggestion and then it branches yeah, it branches us to the exit of the function. So that, that makes sense. This one should do the same thing. Yep, same thing. Now this is the weird one. I'm just going to step through the logic 
and I'll probably figure it out that way. Um, so here five is zero. So here it should go to, yeah. So it goes to here and then it goes here. Oh, right. Right. This logic. interesting Good night, BCM. Holiday between jobs? Yeah, that sounds like a good time. Uh, Tenny Brio, yeah. It's, it's like a history of what you've entered before. So... There's a few ways I could fix this. But I'm just gonna do... I'm just gonna do this, I think. Do one final prediction for this. <laughs> is it is it going to be fixed once and for all? The real fix, where on the very first B press, 
even if you still have a suggestion there. It properly goes back to the CSS. So we go one more time. We got we got to go one more time. The last two were pretty scuffed. Last two were pretty scuffed, but uh, this one, this is the real one. This is the real, is it fixed? The real one. Did I fix it? Third time. You gotta have some serious heart to be a doubter now. Any doubters? It's possible, it's possible. If it doesn't work perfectly, as it's supposed to, that is a failure. Got believers. We got some believers in here. All right. It's good that there's odds, though. The odds, the auto odds are great because I definitely give better odds to, definitely give better odds to uh, the believers right now. If you doubt it and you got this right, you're making bank. I could have fucked up. It's possible. That's just a break point. The believers got it. The believers got it. It's working. It's working as intended now. I just fixed a bug. Uh, before, when you hit B, it wasn't going back to the CSS on the correct B press. It was going back to the CSS after clearing all the suggestion. Less 80, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that, was a, that was a risky doubt, but you had good odds. You had really good odds, so you know. All right, let's commit this. We'll say, um, I think this includes a few things actually. What does this include? This is the B press stuff I just did. Confirm button handler. Oh yeah. That's the main fix I did, I think. I don't think I changed any C code, right? Yeah. All right. Back to the erase button now. Question is how I want to do this. I could make erase just behave like a B <laughs> where even if it's the last character, it just like, it just kicks you out of the name entry. If I did that and didn't say it on stream right now, nobody would notice. Nobody would notice. Nobody presses the button anyway. So does it really matter? Is it worth preserving the functionality correctly? 
Or do I make this button behave like B? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows this exists. Erase does not erase the whole tag. That's actually thought that's actually what I thought it would do. Like that would make sense. But no. Yeah, I, I wonder if anyone has ever hit that button. Gotta oh, keep the melee functionality. Yeah, it's just, it's it's a little less important. We're already changing stuff in the menus, right? So it's like, in-game, yes. In-game, I think we preserve things as much as possible. But in menus, I think we can change things a bit. I wish Erase erased my opponent's stocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the easy thing to do, right? I think I could, like, if to, to, all I have to do, I think, is. Alright, I'll say pressing A on the Erase button. Except that the last uh, erase, last char erase doesn't return to CSS. Instead, it plays an error sound. Um, now, to fix this, or to make it work just like the B button, I think I can just branch. I think I could just branch to here. For now, make this behave like the B button. Nobody uses this button anyway. Is it a lot more work to make it erase the entire name? No, I mean, that would be pretty easy to do. Um, but I don't really see why we would do that. Change melee in that sense. But... Oh, did it? Did that not build? Yeah, because I didn't include this guy. DJ music makers. That sounds extremely interesting. I don't really know what it means, but uh... Alright. So let's see what happens now if I hit it. It works like the B button. Slippy was initially for stats, but I don't really have a data science background. I'm an engineer. I need to use the bathroom. I'll be right back.
Um, God, why do people pick chat names that I like don't want to say out loud? Do you want me to just not say your name? All right, poopy ass. You asked a good question. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, what would money unlock? I mean, that's a good question. I think like if with enough money, maybe could start hiring other people to work full time on this. Um, is probably the biggest unlock, but that takes like first it takes a pretty good amount of money and it kind of takes sort of a more stable uh, stream of money because you don't want to be in a situation where you can't pay the person you hired. I studied computer engineering. What's the biggest feature that you want to add? I mean, right now ranked for sure. Can you connect to people on your local internet? Um, it might work in the beta and in the next version, but it's kind of a shitty fix and it probably doesn't always work. But one thing that always does work is um, just you can, if you're, if you're on LAN, you can just use Dolphin's old net play system. Like you, you don't need rollback if you're on LAN. In terms of ranked system, I, I ha it's not fully decided. I mean, there will be some kind of like Glico 2 rating uh, in the background. I don't know whether or not we'll show it. We might do, because like, if you have like a rank system that has like gold, silver, or whatever, right? You still have a rating in the background. Like you still have a number, which is either Glico 2, true skill, or like whatever, some custom implementation. And then you're just saying like, this range is gold, this range is silver, or whatever. So, I, I don't know. We'll see how far we end up going. I would say, like, ranked has been loosely started because, like, we've done MMR and unranked and stuff, and, like, we've done a fair amount of thinking about it. Um, but I And I think, like, hopefully once... I can really start focusing on it. It doesn't take too much time. It's just been, we've, I've just had to get other stuff out, you know, like there's just, I'm only one human. I mean, there are people helping, like uh, we have contributors and stuff, but I'm the only one doing it full time. Sorry, I don't want to downplay the importance of like every, everyone that does support in Discord and like the people who do contribute code and stuff. It's just, um, I mean, it's still me that does a lot of the coding, but uh, having people helps. And also like, especially people that can uh, like handle talking to people in the Discord is huge because it means I don't have to do that as much, which saves me a lot of time. Uh, I'll probably consult with some people. I don't know whether it'll be Zane or Leffen, but um, it could be. The development path is just ranked and then other stuff. That's just what it is. That's the roadmap. Well, okay, roadmap is 2.3.0 release, ranked. And then something else. Maybe maybe purchasing custom codes somewhere in there. Frank the Ripper, these are, I mean, they're good questions. They're just um, not something I really want to discuss right now on the stream.
it's complicated. Gubs, that sounds like a antivirus false positive. Some parts are JavaScript, but Slippy has like a ton of languages. <laughs> oh yeah. I tweeted I tweeted something recently. Dude fucking antiviruses hate hate our software. They just hate it. Can't stand it. Where did it... I tweeted something about this recently? Where is it? Here it is. I wish I didn't have to do this once every few months. This is me submitting Dolphin Slippy tools to Microsoft to tell them, hey, this isn't a virus. And they're like, Okay, you're right. It's not a virus. God. The worst. What percentage is assembly? Um, 25? Maybe? 20? I don't know. C++, Go, JavaScript, React. Those are the main ones. There's some C as well for Nintendo. All right, anyway. Let's get this random button to work. GitHub is extremely useful. It makes collaboration so much better. Yeah, team matchmaking maybe eventually. Better netcode is a bit... Um, there's kind of a limit to how much better we can make it. There's probably some slight improvements we can make. Uh, but realistically, I don't know how much it'll help. You kind of... You just get diminishing returns with that kind of thing, eventually. Alright, let's go back to our function. Our good friend. Actually, first, let's listen to the sound it makes. I'm assuming it's a success sound. Yeah. Success sound. Now, we'll check enter text. This one? Yeah. Okay. 
As you can see, pressing the random button really fucks things up. Like, this is just super messed up right now. That's why I need to fix it. Oh, it was about the shield battery stuff? Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> My bad. Alright. So... What I need to do is I need to find where the random button gets hit. So let's go back to our function. And once again, we're going to scroll from the top. Actually, let's just do name entry thing. And we're going to look for places where the success sound is played. I, I think this is the fastest way to find it. There's other ways to find it, but I feel like this is the fastest. A lot of success sounds. Pretty much every button I think you hit on this thing makes a success sound, so that's not too surprising. Actually, this looks promising. Name entry, get random name. <laughs> yeah. I think that'll work. I think all of the random names are... Um, I think they're all four characters, right? Can anyone confirm or deny that statement? So yeah, I'm assuming it's here. In front of get random name. It'd be kind of crazy if it wasn't. Yeah. Oh no. They're not all four letters. Shit. Well, the random names aren't something I added, right? This has been in Melee since Vanilla. These are like some crazy random names that Melee adds. <laughs> 401k. Yeah, it's really silly. There's like so many silly ones. Oh, Jazz was there. Let's go. It's basically my name. I haven't seen any two letter ones. I like Wonder. I also like Forbidden. Forbidden. Oh, we had Pit in there. Santa? <laughs> Robin? <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at I I'm I I want to look at the logic actually for that that function just really briefly. I'm kind of curious. I don't know how big this function is. Pretty big. I'm assuming it does some lookup somewhere. Okay, so it calls randi function. What are the args for this? I think this is like the amount. This is probably the amount of names there are, I would guess. So, like. 
145 random names. That sounds like it could be right. Probably. Then it moves the result to R31, so. R28. I wonder if Pal has different random names. Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, so this is only called in one place. That's here. So I could put an injection in here if... We probably know the length somewhere. I would imagine. Uh, Rata, so the problem with music is that music, if it's on, well, we had to write some codes to like prevent it from even writing to the reading from the disc. Basically, every two seconds or so, the next like two seconds of music are loaded from the game disc. And right now, anything that loads from the game disc during gameplay can break rollback, just because of the way rollback currently does its state, state capture and stuff. And so the only way to add music would be to figure out how to remove anything that is related to file reads from the save state algorithm, which is basically how I got sounds to work. And getting sounds to work took me fucking forever. So, and I, I, I've already looked into it to some extent and I spent some time on it and it's just, it's a lot, a lot of work. Well, Slippy run on newest version of Dolphin. You mean like mainline? We do want to port to mainline at some point, but... Uh... Sound was awful. Getting sound to work properly was awful. If you want to see kind of like what the um, sound was like, actually, I'll bring it up. Just like, just take a page out of Ludwig's book and just like bring up YouTube videos all the time. It's great. Hold back to block. Slippy. Here. This video. Catan Salvato. Let's go. Nintendo. It's funny that the <laughs> that the the thumbnail when hovered over shows Dan Salvato. Dan Salvato, creator of Slippy. Um, where does stuff Gala want? I mean, if you try to put that on like on a mainline build, it um, it won't work. So I'm not really sure. Dan is not a contributor. I mean, a part that like some of his older codes were part of like faster melee and stuff. Um, but. Dan hasn't contributed anything directly to Slippy, I think. Obviously, his work inspired Slippy in a lot of ways, but... Yeah, Rato, that's related. It's, um... 
it's because I wasn't able to fix sound completely. I got it to a decent state, but I never fixed it completely. I'm trying to bring up a clip of, um, really weird overlapping demonic sounds. Yeah. So I think in this interview, I talk about it and, uh, there's a clip. Ready? Esteban Esteban put up a clip of what the sound used to be like. Are you guys ready for this? Before I fixed it. It's uh it's a good time. It's a good time. Here we go. So I had to like this took forever, but I had to like figure out almost everywhere where the game accessed any memory that was related to sound. So I had to... Okay. So yeah, you, you guys can watch this interview if you want later, but um, I, I also want to point out a few other things, because this is a very early rollback build. So first of all, I don't have 60 FPS, so it hadn't been optimized to the point where there was 60 FPS yet. Second of all, we got some pretty major rollbacks. <laughs> and so I another, to, like, this, this, this part's really fun. You guys see that P1? <laughs> look, for... look at it again. Well, look, look at so the P1 to, indicator. Like, this took for... It just like jumps all over the place. So yeah, this was a, this was an early build. Uh, Rato, I can bring back music though, as long as, as long as you're willing to listen to the first three seconds of every song on loop. That I can do. I can do that without needing to read from the disc. Alright, Miso, you're getting too warm. My legs are already warm without you here. So I'm gonna put you down, alright? This is, this is Miso W. You can also use uh, M overlay if you want. People have used M overlay to play music. It's you can set it up so that it plays specific songs, including you know the originals if you want to. Um, when a stage is loaded. Oh, wait a minute, I could just use the cursor position. Duh. Right? No, I can't use the cursor position because it always sets it to four. That's evil. Come on, game. Yeah, Google M overlay. Well, Mr. Person, the problem is like, does the person who is destroying you want to be in that game? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, I think overall it's better for newer players to play 
slightly newer players. But um, maybe I can like loosen it a little bit more once ranked is out. I'll think about it. How strange. Why did nothing change in here? Yeah, I think, I mean, the biggest problem, I think if you're like average or even above average, you get really good matches at this point. If you're top level, you probably still don't, usually. But, um, I mean, there's not a lot of people that are top level, so. But that's, ranked is for the top level players to some extent, so. Hopefully rank can come out. Oh, we got Bort. Let's go. Damn. Is this changing at all? 80, 80, 80, 300. So it doesn't change on that loop. It still hasn't changed. Why, why does it pass this in as an arg? Maybe, how does it use R3? Shit, this is proving to be more annoying than I thought. Let's see, R3 gets loaded into... I'm assuming it's saved. It doesn't even use R3?! Where? It just overwrites it, right? It doesn't ever use it? I don't see... Oh, okay. It uses it... It uses it here. Okay, 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 okay. This makes more sense, I think. I was about to, was about to get angry. So 
So what's happening is there's a random button on here and it breaks the autocomplete stuff and I need to come up with a solution for that. I know what I need to do, I just need to figure out kind of where to put it. And so I'm trying to figure out where to put it right now. But to do that, I need to kind of understand these functions a little bit better. Um, so I'm looking through them uh, and trying to understand them, which isn't the most interactive thing in the world, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I can. <laughs> All right, so R30 gets loaded from R3. What's R29? This is extremely interesting. Let's Is this the list of names? Not a hundred percent sure what that is. Yeah, this is assembly. This is Power PC assembly specifically. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this pointer is. Kind of annoying. I'm just like curious where this output comes from. So R30, does it just does it just load it into R30 immediately? It does. Okay, and then what does all this logic do? What is the point of this? Okay, so this this just checks the first character, right? Well, it's, yeah, it checks the first character. This checks the second character. This checks the third character? This checks the fourth character, I think. R29 is the character length. That is excellent news. That is excellent news, I think. Let's try to get to a three character one to make sure R29 is three. What's up, Meta? Someone made a list of the names. That's funny. No, I don't think I strictly need it. Um, I am like slightly curious if there's, uh, so I'm looking at R29 right now. So I was just slightly curious if there's, what did I say? How many there? 145 of them, but it's not really necessary. I guess it would, it could be if this doesn't work.
But if this works, I don't think I need to. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the value of R29, which is here, and it's four. And I'm seeing if this predicts the size, the length of um, the length of this, because based on this code, just like reading through it, I think R29 stores the length of the randomly loaded code. So that's what I want. Um, so I'm just seeing if that's correct. So four, three. So we got one that's three. This one should be three characters. Okay, cool. It is. So this will work, I think. If you have the list up, do you know if, are there any that are two characters long? I am curious about that. What happens after this? B and E. So if it's not equal, load I three, and then it writes that to the cursor position. Otherwise, it writes the length. Right. That makes sense. Uh, R29 is a register, and it's a non-volatile register. So non-volatile registers, functions are, when you call another function in assembly, at least in PowerPC, you know for a fact that the value of R29 will be the same when you return from that function as when you called it. So you have to use non-volatile registers to preserve values across function calls. So I'm just looking at the value of R29 and see this is where the game is checking. This is basically a length check. I think that's predominantly what this does. So it like checks the first character is like it's like is it zero? And this is logic I was gonna probably have to write myself if the game didn't already have it, but it does. So I can just use the value that it calculated in R29. So, I think I just want to branch here. I think I want my injection here. So, I'll call this uh, on random press. Have you accidentally written to R29? Well, first of all, I want to say that R29 is just one of the non-volatile registers. So, like, in this context, changing R29 could break something. In another context, it might not, right? Because maybe that function doesn't use R29 or it's not important or whatever, right? But, yes, <laughs> I've absolutely clobbered register values in the past and totally broke everything and usually you cause a crash and sometimes you cause a crash like way down the line in some other place there's 145 so yeah so that's right that's like the value that I calculated is how many it randoms through are there any two characters or less Ed and me. Interesting. Crazy. Okay, cool. Thank you.
That means if I had taken the shortcut approach I was considering taking to calculate the length, it would have broke if you got Ed or me. So I'm glad I'm not doing that anymore. But if I were to, if I were to have done that, I probably would have checked somehow. I'm not really using the list. I just need to make sure that when you hit random, it doesn't break anything. All right. Um, I'm just gonna say on random press, need to update the cursor and the committed. Count as well as do a suggestion lookup. Okay, so let's copy this over. This is a nice. Summary of old need. Dot set reg. Uh, give that a name so it's easier to remember what it is. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do store byte, right? Yeah, store byte, the random name length into here. And then we're also going to store the random name length into the cursor position. And then we're gonna fetch a suggestion and we're gonna do const no scroll. Actually, we'll do a scroll reset. Cool. I think I think that should do it. Am I nocturnal? <laughs> I do stay up pretty late. I, I am on the west coast at least, so it's only like 220. But uh, I've been I've been staying up late recently. Uh, basically, it stores a direct code history so that you don't have to retype in all the same codes all the time. I'll show it in a second. Let's see if let's test if this works. I don't know if there's a limit. As much as your file, as long as much as your hard drive can hold. But honestly, it doesn't take up that much space, so it would be a lot. So if I go to random now, it's my injection. Oh, there's me. There it is. I think it's working because, whoa. I entered walk before?
feel like there's a bug. Yeah, that's a bug. What the hell? How did that happen? It's not the retail WoW folder. <laughs> um, I played it a little bit, but I I think I might be over it already. I played with my brother a bit, but we don't have we played arenas, but we don't have a good comp, so it's not it's not super super fun. I'm a season six gladiator. Um. But it's just, it's, I don't know. So I, I kind of was hoping, like, I had some fun with arenas at first, but it's kind of rough when you don't have a good comp and it's just bad. But what's going on here? What? What? How? I'll win eventually. The question is how long it'll take me. I can't lose if I never give up. This is very bizarre, though. You know, it's funny because I, I actually... A lot of times I don't mind debugging. It's like It's like doing detective work. Sometimes when I'm really stuck, it's a pain in the ass and nothing makes sense. Not everything is an assembly, no. But there's a good chunk of it that is. Like, I'm in C++ right now. Yeah, the register stuff I was looking at is assembly. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of thinking for sure. And a lot of like, um, especially with melee, like figuring out um, where to put stuff. Like trying to understand the game logic and the game logic flow enough to like figure out where where you should put something like the optimal place to put something right because there's better places than others
No, it's more like... So, you know, you saw the functions I was stepping through? Well, I don't know if you knew, noticed they were functions, but there's functions, and you have to, like, trace how the logic goes. We don't have the source code, but we have the compiled assembly, which is just a massive block of assembly. And there's tools you can use, like breakpoints mem and memory breakpoints, as well as memory watchers to try to figure out where to find certain things. Yeah, super detective job. Now, I'm trying to debug something where when I have a suggestion and I input a letter that isn't part of that suggestion, it's supposed to just like clear it. But it's not doing that. So I need to figure out why that is. It's really bizarre behavior. It, it, it must be a regression. I must have broke it somehow. I just don't know how. Because it was working. I know it was working. I tested it. So I added a logger in C++. Um, and I'm going to add a breakpoint in assembly. And I'm going to try to figure out what is going on. Are there like big companies offer jobs to you? Uh, I, no one's reached out really. Um, not like in any official capacity. I assume most people probably think I'm just busy and content doing what I'm doing. Uh, Armin, that is an interesting question. I ha I'm a little undecided. Uh, I think there's pros and there's certainly pros to doing it, um, but. It certainly does break vanilla behavior, which is something we try to strive towards. So, I don't know. That one's a toss-up. Well, it's because Slippy isn't just... Uh, Slippy isn't just changes to melee, right? It's also like, it's dolphin code, it's server side code, it's a, you know, the desktop app for playing replays. It's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, the issue, I mean, I don't think tab jump off will ever become an option uh, for in-person tournaments. So it, it makes it a little bit more questionable to add it, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm not I'm not completely against it. I just um, I'm undecided. Either way, I I think ranked priority is a higher priority at the moment, so probably wouldn't happen before that anyway. Let's see what am I doing here? Ah yes, this is my injection, and then I want to find a specific spot in that injection. Specifically, I'm trying to find this spot, which is where we run a mem copy. So I can look for 740. I should see it twice. Here's 740. It's probably the second one, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, let's just break one here. Uh, 
I mean, ranked is somewhat started, right? Because, like, we did some ranking stuff to do unranked MMR. And we've done a lot of thinking about it, which is something. But I haven't been able to fully focus on it because I've had other things I've been working on. But hopefully after this release, I can put more real dedicated time into ranked. The registers are 32-bit registers. They're all 32 bits. What is this? Oh yeah, this is my breakpoint. So if I put this... Straylight, there's no way we would ever do um, do it that way. Almost no way. If we wanted to do net play on console, we would target the Wii first. It's just so much easier. And even that's really hard, yeah. <laughs> like, like Metis points out. It's... It's certainly easier, but uh, it's it's still very, very, very hard. What is happening? Why? Why? Tag not found, input length one.
Yeah, it's hard to know how valuable being able to play Slippy on Wii would be. Get considering how much work it is. I think there's definitely a lot of value. It's just like considering how hard it is. It's kind of hard to prioritize over some other things. Something is really weird. I can't understand it. Like even, even switching isn't doing anything. How did I break things this badly? What the hell is going on? Oof. Yeah, we don't know for sure. We don't know for sure. I think there's a chance it would support it though, simply because in develop mode, you can frame advance five frames every frame, I believe. And I believe that works at full speed on a console, but I'm not 100% sure. There's also the whole added part of doing the save state and loading the save state, which would add time. So, yeah, it's unclear. I mean, the problem I'm having right now is that nothing's working. Nothing's working the way it should. Yeah, somehow I broke something. I don't know how. So, so it works here. So right now it's working. And if I hit A, okay, so that's that works properly. 
So everything's working perfectly right now. Right? But I think as soon as I hit random... Okay, it's working. What? I'm so confused! How... Oh my god, what is going on? Why is it working now? I didn't do anything, right? Oh, it's doing it. It's doing it. Kind of. It's not... I feel like this is one of those problems where I just like sit on it. The problem is on key press. They get added as soon as you enter them. When you hit confirm. Dude, before I wasn't able to scroll. Here, is it just a... Here it is again! Why is it doing this? Okay, how did I repro that? What are the repro steps? The repro steps, what did I do? I went in here. Ah! It didn't even load the default state now. Is it? Is it? <laughs> Guys, I'm panicking. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the... I, it's like the response from Dolphin is just completely wrong. But my loggers... My loggers seem fine.
Yeah, Dilvico, it's definitely possible. It just, uh, it requires, it has some prereqs. And also, coming up with a good UX for that and everything. Okay, so what did I do? I feel like what I did was I just fucking... I went in here and then I just like scrolled to the back. Scrolled to the front. And then I enter W. So that does break it. And then W again. And then for some reason, if I leave and come back, I don't even get a default. Can someone, someone mind clipping that so I can reference it later? Because I think I might just this is one of those things where I might just call it and come back fresh and then figure it out in two seconds. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see, does this have your W? So that does break it. Yeah, this starts a little bit late. Then W again. Well, that's fine. I think I can use this to just go to the, and then for some reason, location in the video, right? If I leave and come back, I don't even get a default. Can someone, someone mind clipping that so I can reference it later? W. I thought there was a way to go to the full full video from here. Weird. Maybe it's because it's too new. A lot of it's reverse engineering. Coochie, I think uh, maybe beta four might not be because I, but I'll probably re-enable it for the release. The thing is, that code has problems that does same network doubles. Yeah, I mean, I obviously you want to be able to play doubles with somebody in your household. Better clip. Let's see. Was I just fucking? I went in here and then I just like scrolled to the back. Yeah, this is perfect. Scroll to the front. Thanks, Yofi. Uh, 
I'm gonna save this. Um, yeah, the code's problematic because, okay, it does, first of all, it's problematic because it doesn't work on my, like, it doesn't actually work on my computer. So, let me, let's go CMD. It actually makes things worse for my computer, the current implementation that's in, like, the doubles build or whatever. And if I go into here, right, I have two... Uh, two adapters that have IP addresses. I have this, which is the one that actually goes to my router. You're welcome, guys. Um, which is the one that goes to my router, and I have this one. And that's my VirtualBox one. And the code that, um, that was written by Enzyme as part of the doubles build, for some reason, when it fetches my LAN IP, it fetches this one. And so if I have my laptop on my network, my laptop can't access this IP. So it actually, and my router has now loop back. So that means that if, if the LAN override wasn't there, I would actually be able to connect to my laptop because both of them would try to go to the external internet. My router supports that and then they would connect to each other. But since the the change that was made to support same router connection now tries to override it with the LAN IP that's fetched, it actually breaks because it my laptop would try to connect to my desktop using this IP instead of the wide area network IP uh, and it just wouldn't work. I don't know if any of that made sense, but for complicated reasons, uh, in order for Slippy to work on a single router, you want to have a router that supports something called NAT loopback. Now, the doubles build that that Enzyme released has an override like I was just talking about to try to make it so that you don't need this. The problem is if your router does support this and the new change doesn't work for you, then all of a sudden you actually can't connect to people on your network as opposed to before when you could. So basically, for me, that change actually breaks being able to connect on my local network to my to other computers instead of fixes it. Because it worked for me prior, but now it, it with that change it doesn't. A lot of routers do not support NAT loop NAT loopback, especially especially stock routers. It's it's yeah, I mean it could be optional, it's just like no one will know what that setting means or when to turn it off. So it's it's kind of not ideal. Ideally we like there are ways to build this so that it works for everyone, or at least like it works better for most people. It's just that like it's it's more work. Like the right way to build it is to build it so that no one has to worry about this. It's just that building it so no one has to worry about it is hard and takes time. But all right, I have a bug right now and I it's late. So I think I'm going to stop um, and try to fix this bug later. Uh, and then look at this clip. So going to end for now. Thanks everyone that's still here. I appreciate you guys hanging out and talking. It's always fun. Have a good night, everybody. Peace.